Okay, so hey guys, my name is Quinston, and in this video, I just want to go over why you should use Timebolt to edit your videos incredibly quickly. Now, Timebolt is a silence detection uh, program that basically detects where the silences are and dead air is in your videos and creates cuts, aesthetic cuts that you can control and, uh, you know, adjust based on your requirements. And it gives you those cuts to directly use in Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, in whatever program you want. So, for example, if I want to show you this file over here, this is a video file. I'm just going to open it. And as you can see, it's already cut up. Timebolt basically uses the silence detection and essentially creates cuts where they are supposed to be. Now, these cuts can be controlled via um, numerical values. So Timebolt is an incredible tool if you're making talking head video like this one, where you're speaking to a camera and you, know, you have silence around you. So essentially, the, the distinction between silence and sound is very easy. But there's a limitation with Timebolt when it comes to uh, outdoor environments or unstable environments where you are going to let's say a stadium and you're vlogging or maybe you're driving a car or maybe you're riding a motorcycle, stuff like that, um, silence detection is not enough, right? So because you need to understand uh, or you need to make a distinction between sound, which is voice and sound, which is just, you know, a glass breaking, engine roaring, jet engine, you know, flying through the air, something like that. Uh, there needs to be a distinction. So what we have done is uh, we have a product built inside Timebolt called Umcheck. And Umcheck basically is a transcription application, which basically creates a list of filler words that you can remove from your timeline automatically. You can either start audio transcription. I already have a transcript ready to use, but we're not going to do it on this video because this is a you know a boring video. It's a boring test video. We're going to do it on a YouTube channel video that I really like. It's called MCN. It's a motorcycle review channel and they make great reviews about, you know, great bikes. I watch them a lot. So this is a video of a zx4 rr that they recently did and i just wanted to drop this into time bolt and see how it performs so as you can see when i drop it into time bolt the first thing it does is it it basically cuts out uh the dead air right dead air is gone uh one thing that you need to remember is you can also improve it by by selecting these values over here so these are audio pre-processing values which can ensure better sound detection and yeah based on those, those values you can set up the voice that goes in to be detected a certain kind of way now you know that the engine is over here right so so this is the engine noise and this is the voice. So Timebolt can't make a distinction between engine noise and voice. So what we did was we used the transcription to basically take the transcription data and overlay it on top of this, uh, these cuts which are already created. Now you might be asking, why can't we just use transcription information? Because transcription data at this point in time is not accurate enough to create consistent aesthetic cuts like these. So what we have done is with Timebolt, we have combined the Timebolt algorithm and the transcriptions and basically created like a hybrid approach where you can create the best cut. So how do we go about doing this? So you click this button over here, it's called Umcheck, and you start the audio transcription. I've already transcribed the video. Please note that this is chargeable based on how many minutes you're gonna use Umcheck for. So I've already transcribed the file, so I'm gonna just click on select my file. I'm just gonna select the file that was created, which is Motorcycle Review Umcheck. I'm gonna open it. And as you can see, Umcheck basically opens up in this format. Now, what is this? So here you have a text box, which basically has all the words that you want to remove, the filler word. We're not gonna deal with any of this part. We're just gonna come to the bottom and click on this button over here. It says merge detections in transcription with timeline. So when you click this button, it basically takes all of the information of the transcription and only keep the vocal sound. And everything that was not detected as a voice is it's turned off. So let me just click on it and you'll see what happens. Uh, pay attention to the, this part over here. This part is going to go away, right? So I'm going to click on this button. And now the engine, the, the roaring engine is, is in red. So everywhere where the engine sound uh, was there is gone. Okay. Now, just for fun, we're going to also remove all the filler words. So all these filler words and uh, um, you they've already been detected. So we can just like click this button over here, turn off selected words. So these are the selected words. I'm just going to turn them off. And now you have like a really clean timeline with no um. So for example, this is an um. And, uh, oh, sorry, this is an and. and. Uh, That's the engine. Then you have um. um. Um, um, so as you can see, all the ums are deleted. Now, how do we take this into a file system that you can understand? We'll go to the bottom and we can export this as an XML, an FCP XML or a sequence. I'm going to click on XML. I've got my XML over here. I'm going to open Premiere Pro, take that XML and drop it in. I'm going to double click on this. And these are all of the cuts that were created. Welcome to MCN. We're at the Calafat circuit in Spain near Barcelona. We're here to ride the Kawasaki ZX4RR. 
yeah, and that's basically it. So yeah, what else can we do? Now, this was a car, uh, a motorcycle review video. What if you have a moto vlogging channel and you wanna like have, you know, you're riding your motorcycle, you're talking, how does Timebull react to that? So I'm gonna click on this uh, file over here. It's called a moto vlogging. It's from a guy called IMK. He has a moto vlogging channel and I just ripped a video from his channel. I'm testing it. As, as you can see, the first, this is like intro music. This is sound of the bike the and this is voice, right? So you have voice, sound of the bike, and this is when he's talking and riding the bike. As you can see, Time Bowl does the silence detection well, like wherever it finds the silences, it, it cuts it out, right? But it doesn't have transcription information. So it doesn't know how to differentiate between sound and uh, voice and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use the transcription again. I'm gonna select the, tra I've already transcribed it. So I'm gonna select Time Bowl transcription file and I'm gonna select a motorcycle review, oh sorry, motor vlogging umcheck because I already, I downloaded this from the umcheck section. So I open this up, same, same spiel. Uh, merge detections in transcription with timeline click on this and that's it so if i go to the start the part which was like the intro and the bike those are all in red now and now the green parts are essentially the parts what is going on you guys welcome back talking. to the channel i am finally riding the rush again and then the same thing i can export this xml click this part over here delete this and bring in the all of the cuts in the time world and yeah what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel i am finally riding the rush again unfortunately just like absolute magic so yeah time world is an insane tool even if you don't use time world for every video it's an insane tool to have in your toolbox that you can just whip out and use on you know videos that you feel need to be time bolted so thanks for watching and uh, i'll catch you later